previously on The Real Players of Wake Forest. Yes, I want to make up. Yes. 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 Aiden? You want to make up? I, I want to make up. Celia, what are you doing? This is not about you right now. Celia? Celia? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Um, Celia? Oh, my God. Guys, what do we do? I think we need to call the ambulance. Whoa. I'm calling 911. Okay. Celia? Hang in there. As surely as you live, my lord, I am the woman who stood here beside you, praying to the Lord. So now I give him to the Lord. Oh! Hey, my heart rejoices in the Lord. In the Lord, my horn is lifted high. Hi. Can we talk later? I'm sorry. <laughs> Matt, I... Shrey, hey, oh, Hayden. Dean. Hey. Um. Oh. oh my God. I'm so alone. I'm Celia, and I think all the world's problems can be solved with parties. Hi. I'm Sheree. I could be your best friend or the biggest bitch ever. I'm Mike. And I'm not really down with all this drama. I'm Matt. Some people say I'm cocky, but I just say I'm confident. I'm Hayden. And Jesus really. I'm Dean. I can be a sweet, gentle breeze or the worst hurricane you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> When I saw Dean and Matt and Sheree, it's just, this house is full of sinners, and they are all going to hell, and I'm trying to reach out to them because they need Jesus, but they just won't listen to me because I'm alone. Hey, Dan. Look what I made for our first date. Thank you. Isn't it the shit? Don't, don't touch it. Don't. Okay. So you excited? For what? Our first date. It's gonna be like, sick. I don't know anything about it. That's the point. Like, it's a surprise. I've had a very traumatic day. I've just witnessed disgusting things and I've been alone all day. I need to know what we're doing. It's a surprise. Don't worry about it. Look, we have our friend the tree here to look over our first date. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be sick. Don't touch it. You. Thank you, Hayden. Thank you. When I went to go talk to Hayden about the date, I decided to bring along my tree of life. I've been whittling that for about eight to ten days now, and I think she really liked it. Wait, weren't you just in the shower? No, you weren't in the shower, so obviously I wasn't in the shower. Matt had a fucking threesome! Hate it. Literally. You fucking curse? That's sick. Oh my god. We have got to go tell Dean and Jeray about this. He has a problem. <laughs> Dean! Oh. Jeray! Oh, yeah. What's with Hayden always being there? I'm pretty sure she wants a threesome, but it's not gonna happen. I have enough white meat to deal with. Okay. okay. We need to talk about Matt. What about him? This house is turning into a brothel. Uh, He's been having a threesome in there. Okay. What are we supposed to do? We, he, we need to talk about his how sex you know addiction. A, how do you know we had a threesome? Okay. When I came in here and burst it down on you to... I ran to him to talk about it because I was clearly terrified. Right. And so I went in there and he said, hey, Hayden, and there was a girl in his bed. Okay. Freaked me out. So That's I ran true. out. And then I ran out the hallway and I heard someone in the, the shower. And so I was like, okay, well, Mike's in the shower. But then Mike brought me this gift and I, he was not in the shower. 
When I went to talk to Dean and Sheree about Matt with Mike, it was a little awkward, but um, I'm glad that we talked about it because he does need help. And I feel like we're the best ones to help him. I mean, especially me with the Lord. And I feel like it'll all be better. I like your moves, Dean. Okay, clearly Matt is only doing this because of his problem saying goodbye to his friendship with you. Yeah, I really don't give a fuck, so sue me, okay? Okay, um, thanks. This might be a more productive conversation if you left. Okay, then I'm gonna take the tree then. Nope. My tree. What the hell's going on with these people? It's turning into a brothel. I think we've got to talk to Matt, don't you? Yeah. He needs an intervention. Let's do it. Oh my god. Later today, let us put our clothes on. Another intervention? Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Mm. Well, we're gonna put our clothes on. Goodbye. So here's the thing. After Hayden talked to me and Sheree, we clearly wanted to be in on this confrontation, intervention, whatever you want to call it. So I found the nearest thing that was as heavy as a child, which happened to be about a 95 pound statue of a little boy. And I thought that I would use it to kind of help Matt realize that sex addiction, sex addiction doesn't lead to anything but heartbreak. You gotta find your own chocolate mama, you know what I mean? Yeah, baby, just come over tonight. Yeah, it'll be a good time. All right, bye. Matt. Hey, Aiden. We need to talk. About what? Where are those trollops who were here? What does that mean? Whores. This? The whores who were in oh. your room. Oh, yeah, yeah. They left like two hours ago. They were a good time. I mean, I met these two girls on the street last night, <laughs> and they were down, so we did it. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Hey, guys. Do you see this tree? Yeah. This is a tree of life. And do you know what comes from life? What? Babies. Like this one. Can you carry the weight of a baby? Probably not, because I barely can. <sighs> okay. See how that child just fell? It's like your life. It's falling apart. Guys, I'm just having a good time. Don't you worry about me. You have a sex addiction. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You Good contribution, baby. Mm -hmm. I was basically there just supporting my man, and that's what you gotta do sometimes. What? Cause, cause I've been, I've only had sex with ten people in the last week, who cares? Okay, we can't allow you to do this anymore. We know this is because of Mike. I, I don't want to talk about Mike. Okay, it's okay to be hurting because Mike is not in your life anymore, but you can't do this. They have forsaken the Lord. They have spurned the Holy Spirit of Israel and turned their backs on him. That's you. Look, me and Mike, we're best friends. But we're done, guys. We're done. I'm moving on. He's moving on. It's done. Just deal with it. Okay. I'm taking my child. <laughs> Come on, Trey. Okay, big papa. Clearly, I had no idea that Matt had such a problem. We're gonna have to help him with his sex addiction. It's disgusting. He about, first of all, you know, Matt is a hoe, and he's gonna get an STD. Tough luck, sucks to suck. I really had faith in Matt because he dressed up as a preacher, you know, for the pee party. But he has turned into a heathen. Have you seen how many whores have been around this house? We needed an intervention, and he just wasn't gonna listen to us. I don't wanna be in the room with them talking about helping Matt because that's all they care about. I'm the one that can't fucking read, okay? Someone needs to help me out. You know, people don't understand. I tried to be the good guy for a long time. I tried to help Celia with a problem. She didn't listen. I tried to be there for Dean and Sheree. They don't care. I tried to be Mike's friend. I don't care. So I was the good guy. Now I'm going bad. Deal with it, house. <laughs>